What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a quick tip using this Starbond CA glue for filling in knots on a tabletop. So this here is a bench that I've been working on. It's almost finished, ready for stain. It is pine and it has a couple of knots on the top of this. Now on a bench, you can typically get away with this, but on a tabletop, you want to fill in those knots so the small crumbs and things won't fall down in those knots. So I'm gonna do that on this bench as a demonstration and show you exactly how to do yeah. this. So when I say a knot, this is what I'm talking about right here. So you can see that this knot kind of goes down under the surface a little bit. So the first thing that I'll do is clean this out with a hose and you wanna to try to break up any of the sawdust that you have in there so that that'll get picked up with the vacuum. So now that the knot's cleaned out, this is actually a pretty easy process. So we use one of these actual glues here, followed by the activator, which will harden the glue in the knot and fill it in instantly. Now I have three different types of glue here and I'll leave a link to the, each one of these products in the description if you wanna check them out. I found out that the thick glue works a little bit better. There's also a black in case you would want some collar in the knot when it's filled in. So all you do is fill in the crack or the knot with the glue, spray it with a little bit of activator, and then it dries pretty much instantly. If it's a big knot, you may have to do this a couple times, but this Starbond works really well for filling in these knots on a tabletop surface. So here I am filling in the knot. Now this Starbond comes in small bottles. Each one has a tip on with a very fine point. The one in this one I've actually cut off a couple times, but you just put the glue in and then you spray it over with the activator. I like to let the glue set for a couple minutes before I spray it. That way it has a chance to really work its way down into the crack. If you listen closely here, you can hear that the glue is dry to touch and this is only about a minute after I applied this. So here's another knot where I'm putting this in. Again, I'm using the thick glue. Sometimes the thin glue will actually jump out of the crack a little bit when you spray it with the activator, so I prefer the thicker glue. So with the glue dried by the activator, that's really all there is to it. And one thing I really like about using Starbond is how quickly that it dries and how easily it is to go to the next step. So all that really needs done is that these will need sanded now. Now normally when I sand these, I'll start with 120 and go all the way up to 220. You do want to remember that you do sand down the glue everywhere that you got it. If you have some excessive glue spots on the outside of the crack, that'll show through and keep the collar of the bare wood. So make sure you sand this down well. It is easy to sand down and it sands quickly, so just get it to a smooth flush finish with the surface and then you're ready for stain. So just some quick bonus footage of me sanding. Now whenever you sand these down, there's really no special technique or special tricks to this. You just sand it gently as you would any other portion of the tabletop. And then when you're finished sanding, it will blend in and fit right in. If you did a good job of putting the glue in and sanding it on, you would never even know that there was glue applied to the cracks. So here's just some quick additional bonus footage of me staining this so you can see that there is no discoloration. This is espresso stain on a bench top and I think the Starbond finished this perfectly. So here's an up close of one of the knots. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but this was filled in completely here. So this is completely flush after it's stained and you can see that there's pretty much no discoloration from where I applied the Starbond. Another smaller knot right there again. So it fills in the gap completely with no discoloration from where the CA glue was. So if you liked this video and found the information useful, leave me a thumbs up and a comment as to what you think. As I mentioned earlier, I'll put a link to each one of these products in the description. Here's a couple pictures of the bench that this top will be on. So stay tuned for that video and several more. And as always, thanks for watching.